Welcome back to Broncos and Parts Garage. My name is Chris. If you're new to the channel, stick around at the end. You'll see additional links for content we've already created. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I've got this AME International valve stem replacement kit. They claim in 10 seconds I should be able to pull this valve stem out and put a new valve stem in while leaving the tire on the wheel. In front of you, I've got a nice Alcoa wheel that came off a 90s Ford truck. On modern trucks, you won't be able to do this because they have the tire pressure monitor system inside, so you will have to take the tire off the wheel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Put a comment in the comment section below. Let's put this to the test. Step number one was to remove all the air from the tire. We've done that. Step number two was to take this little hook tool. We're going to put it between the wheel and the valve stem, push it all the way in the void, turn it a quarter of a turn, and then remove the valve stem. So hopefully this will come out pretty easy. All right, I've got the tool in. Now we just need to hook the underside of the valve stem and pull it out. As you can see, this tool is bending. It was a, It's taking a lot more than 10 seconds and you can see the tool's bending. So let's get this out now. So here's the turn this way. You can hear me hitting the wheel, turning around 180 degrees so I can hook that valve stem. And okay, we've got the valve stem out. The next step is assembling the install tool, which is this metal rod and it's threaded on one end. There's some male threads. We're going to thread it into this little handle. The second step is to grab a new valve stem, thread it into the tool itself. Okay, so we've got that locked in. I'm going to spray some lubricant on this. Next is a plastic funnel that guides the valve stem into the wheel itself. I'm gonna put some lubrication inside that tube. So the next step would be lining the cone up over the hole, getting your new valve stem, pushing it down, and instead of beating on it with your hand, I'm gonna use a dead blow hammer. And it should go in relatively easy, I hope. Okay. Now you see I've got this all the way in. The valve stem is completely inside the tire. So I'm going to pull the cone up. I'm going to guide that valve stem up and gently pull on that. It's pulled through. I'm going to unthread this. And you got your new valve stem in place. It really is that easy. Guys, this tool is pretty chintzy, but it did work. It was about 32 bucks, and I'll put a link in the description below to buy it. I'd say it's a one or two time use only. It, it did start to bend, but it did get the job done. Uh, you need a lot of lubrication in this cone, and you need a lot of lubrication on your uh, valve stem. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. And again, I want to reiterate, I'm not sponsored by this company. I had to go out and buy it, and I will put a link in the description below if you want to pick one up for your toolbox. If you don't know how to get to a video description you just click on the title and the description will drop down there you'll find my email address and other contact information now the hook tool did tend to bend and deform a little bit the harder i pushed so you kind of have to be gentle i wish this was made a little bit stronger it's what some of the other people complain about in the amazon reviews but it did get the job done this is in here it's in there properly so i probably give this about a six or seven out of ten for functionality it, it worked I had to straighten this tool a few times. Please like, subscribe, put some comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you thought of this video, and I look forward to the next time.